Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how you can build the ideal guitar repair kit. What's up guys, Jake here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can build a nice little guitar repair kit that'll be everything you need to do a string change or a setup or anything in between. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you will stay notified every time I upload a brand new video. All right guys, we're just gonna dig straight into it. Let's go build a guitar repair kit. All right guys, so I've got everything lined up here that I use when I set up, restring, repair, or whatever to a guitar. This is pretty much everything you need. It fits into this nice small package. So first thing you need, get a box of some sorts. I, for years, was just keeping stuff in Ziploc bags and in like my, uh, in my dresser drawers and stuff. Get a box to keep everything in. I used to use a toolbox, but once really I scaled everything down, I found out this is pretty much big enough for everything. Just get yourself a nice little box. I got this from Walmart. I actually used to use it when I was really into kayaking, I think, for a few summers. I used to put my phone and wallet in here and attach it to it, but turns out it also doubles as a guitar repair box. Get a cool sticker for on top. Go ahead and check out the link up in the corner to grab yourself one of those, because you know you're going to need one of those. And uh, let's just uh, let's fill it up with some stuff. First off, you need some rags to clean your guitars. Get yourself one plush one and one fine one. The plush one is to clean the body. The fine one would be to clean the fingerboard. And toss those bad boys in there. Next up, you need some stuff to clean your guitar. I use Dunlop 65 everything. I love it. I think it's the best quality, the best bang for the buck. So I use the 65 guitar polish and cleaner and also the 65 lemon oil. I really, really, really recommend this lemon oil because it comes with a little applicator. So that is super, super nice. Next up on the realm of cleaning, not so much, but I always put this in next, is some sort of friction remover. Now, this is to put in the nut so it, your strings don't get stuck in the nut or anything. It helps tuning stability. Now, you can either get this. This is a little pricey, but I will tell you one thing. It, it's just, all it is, is two little brushes, okay? And uh, your little syringe filled with the uh, friction remover. Now, it looks like I've used half of this. I've had this for like three years and I don't think that's moved at all. And I use it all the time. So it will last you for pretty much ever if you use it right, because a lot, or excuse me, a little goes a long way with this product. Uh, otherwise, you can just put a pencil in there. Use some pencil graphite, does the same thing. Next up, need some tools. Get yourself a multi-tool. I really like this Cruise Tools. Uh, they're not the best quality, but they're also not so cheap that they're gonna strip all the parts you're, uh, you're tightening. This is really nice. You got one for your truss rod. You got almost every size you need for a strap bridge or, or what have you. Even got a nice little ruler. I really like these little guys. Now, because I'm a giant dork, I, uh, I need some more tools because I have weird guitars. Uh, so I have this little bag of Allen wrenches of the sizes that aren't in the multi-tool as well as some extra trim springs. If you have a guitar with a trim, also always have a couple extra trim springs. Next up, I have a couple extra screwdrivers. I use those uh, specifically to put knobs on uh, to straight shaft pots. Put those in there. I have to have this uh, 3 32nd wrench for my uh, Kaler trim. That's not on uh, any of the multi-tools that I have. This tool, that'll save you so many times. Time and time again, this will come in handy. You have a Phillips head screwdriver bit and also a flathead. And you have all these different wrenches and you even have one right there to get into the input jack of a Strat. So and this is called the Octopus by Music Nomad. Fantastic tool, highly recommend that. You need a string winder of some sorts and some wire cutters. My wire cutter sucks, so I use the wire cutters on this and I use this string winder. Toss those in there. Lastly, if you go with a small box like this, get yourself a mini snark. I really like these little snarks. It doesn't appear that a ton of people use these, but I've really been digging this one. I find me using that a lot more than my uh, super snark lately. And that is pretty much everything you need. It fits in this nice little box and that's why I really like that I found this. Shuts. 
if you put everything in right and you have everything you need to do some repairs and even a cool sticker uh, a couple optional things i really really like this this is called the nomad tool if you can't tell i really really like music nomad products i think they do a fantastic job with cleaning supplies but you have a little brush here so you can get under your strings and under your pickups without taking the strings off and you also have this brush here that's fantastic for the headstocks and in between the tuning machines and the cradle cube once again i love music nomad this uh, you can set it on different angles and it's just very simply to hold the headstock of your guitar. And what's cool is if you don't have a little box for everything, it doubles as a storage unit. And of course, get yourself your favorite strings, keep those next to your box, and you're good to go. All right guys, that is how you can build the ideal guitar repair kit in a small package. I hope you found this helpful. The links to all the products I recommended are going to be down below in the description, so make sure to go ahead and go check those out. Anyway, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on this video, and any comments, throw them down below. See you guys later.